Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. My wife's hatred of socializing is getting worse now. Her negativity is affecting our relationship and I don't know what to do. Despite being 28 years old, my wife and I have had our share of disagreements, especially regarding socializing and people. I'm a social butterfly, constantly excited to meet and spend time with new people. Conversely, my spouse is the complete opposite. She detests social interaction and seems to get a certain kick out of making people dislike her. It's as if she is on a mission, carefully examining everyone she encounters in an attempt to reveal some ulterior motive. This is one of her habits that might escalate a small miscommunication into a major complaint that she holds onto strongly. For the decade we've been together, this difference between us has been a constant backdrop to our relationship. She has misgivings about individuals, Yet she hardly ever stops me from having fun in my own social life. Giving her the space she needs while I carry on interacting with the outside world in my own unique way is how I've learned to handle this part of our relationship. Sometimes she goes out with me, especially if there's another couple. Even in these situations, though, her contempt is evident. For example, she has never been friends with my friend's girlfriend, even though we have made multiple attempts to get them out on double dates. When the COVID pandemic hit, her company shifted to remote work, a change she welcomed with open arms. The arrangement became permanent, and while she relishes the comfort of our home as her office, it has also meant that her interactions with the outside world have dwindled to almost nothing. She now ventures out only for errands or when absolutely necessary, and even then, it's often just with me. This isolation seems to be taking a toll on her. The lack of regular diverse social interaction appears to be intensifying her negative traits. Recently. Any suggestion from me that she should meet up with friends or join me for a social event is met with sharp resistance. She maintains a connection with a couple of her old friends through messages, yet she hasn't seen them in person for years, despite the fact that they live just a few minutes away. Her increasing irritability isn't just limited to refusals to socialize, it has started to seep into seep into our daily interactions. There are days when the atmosphere at home becomes particularly strained, with tensions simmering just beneath the surface. I find myself walking on eggshells, trying to gauge her mood before speaking a stark contrast to the open and easy communication we used to share. Even with these difficulties, I realize her actions are not coming from a bad place. Instead, they may be due to some hidden worry or fear. I've thought that her critical opinions of others might be her way to guard against any letdowns or pain. This understanding has made it easier for me to respond with more kindness and patience. However, it's still tricky to find the middle ground between honoring her limits and urging her to move beyond her usual comfort zone. Navigating a relationship where social preferences clash so starkly has never been simple. And as the years pass, these contrasts often magnify, becoming more than just trivial disagreements. I've always known that my wife has a distinct distaste for social gatherings, a stark contrast to my own extroverted nature. Typically, to maintain peace, I've allowed her the space to opt out, choosing instead to engage socially on my own terms. This compromise, while not perfect, has served as an uneasy truce between my social appetite and her preference for solitude. However, a recent encounter has begun to challenge the delicate balance we've managed to maintain. I met a woman in college who quickly became a good friend, and her partner is equally likable. Both of them have proven to be wonderful additions to my circle, bringing with them the kind of enriching, engaging interactions that I thrive on. They proposed the idea of a double date, excited at the prospect of meeting my wife, especially since they share several interests with her. It seemed like a perfect opportunity to bridge the gap between my social world and her isolated one. Eagerly, I shared this with my wife, highlighting their commonalities in the hope of sparking her interest. However, her reaction was dishearteningly swift and harsh. She dismissed the shared interests, particularly scoffing at the books my new friend enjoyed labeling them as trash, and declaring a preemptive dislike for someone she had never met. This response wasn't unusual for her, but it struck a different chord this time. It wasn't just disapproval I felt, but a deeper sense of disgust at the relentless negativity. It's one thing to have preferences, it's another to cultivate disdain so eagerly. This has more to do with being receptive to human interactions and experiences than it does with just having different literary tastes. Whether it comes to interests, opinions, or hobbies, my friends and I have always valued our diversity. These differences don't divide us. Instead, they help us understand and respect each other more. The tough part is my wife tends to see these differences as big hurdles, 
which is becoming harder and harder for me to come to terms with. To be honest, it's quite exhausting. When she says something negative about others, it drains my energy bit by bit. It's tough to be around someone who is caught up in negativity, which makes me wonder about the future of our relationship if this doesn't change. Love and dedication have brought us to this point, but as her negativity increases, so does my frustration. I'm thinking about what to do next. Should I keep going with my social life alone, understanding she might not ever join this important part of my life? Or is there a way to carefully question her views to show her that differing doesn't mean lower or scary? This is a complicated balance to keep because while I want to respect her individuality, I also wish she could appreciate the happiness and growth that come from interacting with different people. Maybe it's time for a sincere talk about how her negativity impacts our relationship. It's important for her to see that she doesn't need to change who she is, but she needs to show respect respect for my friends, for people I care about, and for the social life that gives me energy. It may also help to explore why she dislikes social activities so much. Could it be linked to a past event, insecurities, or something unspoken? Understanding the why could help us figure out the how of our future dealings. When I approach her, it's important to do so not with blame but with an open mind. I need to tell her how important it is to me that she at least tries to understand why my friendships and social life matter so much. It's not about forcing her into situations she's uncomfortable with. Rather, it's about achieving mutual respect for what we both value. This discussion, though possibly hard, is needed to ensure our relationship can grow and adapt rather than get stuck in unspoken frustration. Our differing attitudes towards social activities have indeed made our path together interesting and sometimes a bit complicated. As we deal with this constant issue, I'm still hopeful that we'll find a balance where she feels protected and listened to, and I can still have fun socializing, which motivates me. We're not trying to change each other, but we aim to understand and support each other better. Building a bridge between our worlds, step by step, through each talk and every experience we share together. So the challenge lies in finding a balance that respects her boundaries but also encourages her to occasionally step beyond them not just for my happiness, but for the health of our relationship. It's about ensuring that our union is a partnership of growth and understanding, where both of us feel valued and heard. As we navigate these troubled waters, I remain hopeful that with patience and love, we can find a way forward together. Edit. It feels so exhausting to be around someone this socially miserable all the time. I love people, and I'm struggling to be around someone who is so hateful. I tolerated it before, but it just seems to be getting worse. How should I navigate this? Maybe I'm doing something wrong here, and if so, please feel free to put me in my place. Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share. I'd love to hear from you.